Turning our focus to the Bank of Korea's first monetary policy meeting of the year, the nation's central bank lowered its growth outlook for the year and, as widely expected, kept its key rate steady. Kim Hye-sung has the highlights from that session. The Bank of Korea forecasts the local economy to grow by 2.6% in 2019, down one-tenth of a percent from its earlier projection last October. It also cut its inflation forecast from 1.7% to 1.4%. We slightly lowered this year's growth forecast due to weakening global growth. Overall, it is similar to last year's growth rate. We also downgraded our inflation forecast mainly on plummeting global oil prices and the government's social welfare policies. This projection comes two days after the central bank said Korea's economy grew at a six-year low of 2.7% in 2018. The bank expected 140,000 new jobs to be added this year, down from last year's projection of 160,000. BOK Governor Lee ju also expressed concerns about slowing global growth, including in the U.S. and China, which could hurt Korea's exports. Already data by the Korea Customs Service show that between January 1st and 20th this year, overseas shipments fell by 14 percent on year and exports to China dropped by double digits. Sales of semiconductors, a key driver of growth in recent years, tumbled almost 30 percent on year in January. On slowing global and domestic growth, the Bank of Korea's Monetary Policy Board decided unanimously to keep its benchmark interest rate unchanged at 1.75 percent. Construction investment is expected to continue to slow down this year. And now Korea's main driver of growth, exports, is likely to slow down too. It remains unclear if government spending can offset those and cushion Korea's growth, like we saw in the fourth quarter last year. At the same time, a less hawkish U.S. Federal Reserve has eased pressure on the BOK to change its key rate in January. The Bank of Korea said it will maintain its accommodative monetary policy stance for the year and said it will make its rate decisions by closely monitoring domestic growth and external uncertainties like the global slowdown and the U.S.-China trade spat. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.